So you are your best friend and you are your worst enemy. If, that, if there's something that you want in life, the only thing that's stopping you from getting it is typically yourself, right? No one else can get what you want for yourself but you. So it's like what's stopping you from typically getting what you want is typically like your own self-limited beliefs, whether it's like who you were five years ago, who you were 10 years ago, and none of that stuff really matters. The only thing that matters is where you're going and what your game plan is, right? What steps do you need to take to get to where you want to be? Because it's like typically self-doubt comes from you not achieving your own goals or you not feeling like you're validated enough or typically like something that somebody else may have told you or it can be like a childhood trauma, like whatever the trauma is, right? It's all in your head. The only person that told you that what happened to you from 10 years ago, five years ago is defines who you are today is typically you. If it's like you have naysayers around you, you need to cut those naysayers off right away because naysayers only do what naysayers do best. They go doubt other people, put their limited beliefs, put their own self projections on the other people. And if you want to achieve your goals, you got to realize the only person you're fighting is yourself. The only person that you're in the ring with is yourself. The only person that can beat you is you. And typically how you beat yourself is by letting go of all the false limited beliefs and all the bad experiences that you've may had. Good, bad, the ugly, right? Just act like today is a brand new day. Act like you've accomplished the world yesterday. And today is just another day where you're going to accomplish more greatness, right? Because self-doubt is like comes from parents, comes from your peers, comes from like where you came from. But where you came from does not define you. Where you're going is everything, right? But you're not going to get there if you don't believe that you're good enough, if you don't believe that you deserve it, if you don't believe, oh, well, since my past life was this, then my future is going to be this. The only person that told you that is you. The only person that told you that you should believe that is you. This is where they say perception is reality, right? And you gotta be really careful what you believe in and you gotta be really careful what energy you let come into your life. If you have negative people around you, you need to cut them off. If you tell somebody what your goals are, what your plans are, and they give you negative energy, you need to stop telling those people what you think. You need to stop even associating those people with your dreams because those are the people that are gonna instill more self-doubt in you because it's like, I remember I told my uncle, hey, I'm going to move to this place, right? He had his own self-doubt and his own fears and was like, well, Cliff, like, well, I'll see you when you get back. I'll make sure your bed's here. And I looked at him like, what? Like, you don't even really know me or what I've done, but you're going to tell me, oh, I'm not going to succeed. It's been four years since I left home. So it's basically like he's eating his words, but I will never let somebody else tell me what I can and can't do. And you should never let anybody else tell you what you can and can't do. The only person that determines that is you and all of this self-doubt, all of this energy, all of this like confusion, all of this like naysaying, all these people, right? They only exist because you let them exist. The moment that you cut them off and the moment that you shut them off is the moment that their voice is muted to you and you're just going tunnel vision focused on what your goals are. Like, I don't care what everybody else is doing. I only care about what I'm doing. So if there's something that is slowing me down, I need to figure out how to overcome that challenge. So if there's something that's slowing you down, like if you need to go see a psychiatrist, if you need to go see a therapist, if you need to go talk to somebody about some of your trauma, go do that, right? Because at the end of the day, you're only getting older, you're not getting younger. If you don't start focusing on what you want today, tomorrow's gonna come, tomorrow's gonna come, tomorrow's gonna come, and you're still gonna be talking about what you wanted to do versus what you're actually doing. So yo, take the world, like t grab the bull by its horn and grab what you want, right? And remember, the only person that you're fighting and the only person that you're in battle with is yourself. And what you need to do is you need to knock out that self-doubt, let it all go, good, bad, ugly, and just keep moving forward. Never look back. Only look back to get the reminder of, okay, this is the fire that I needed under my butt. Now I'm going to just propel like a rocket and take off, right? So let go of that self-doubt. You deserve it. The world is yours. If they don't believe in you, I believe in you. If your family doesn't believe in you, I believe in you. You got this. Never, ever, ever stop. All right, and I'll see you at the top. Peace.